Hi, I'm Alex at HD Labels and welcome to Label Talk. This episode we're going to be talking about Natasha's Law and making sure your business is ready to conform to the new regulations. Natasha's Law has been brought in to ensure consumers that the pre-packed food that they're purchasing is safe for them to eat. Currently, businesses preparing and selling food on the same premises don't need to advertise allergen information on the label. This means that the consumer needs to ask about allergen information and what the product might contain. This can cause obvious confusion. From October 21, Natasha's Law comes into play, which will ensure all foods prepared like this will have a complete list of ingredients on the label. Natasha's Law applies to those providing fresh food preparing and selling on the same premises, uh, such as cafes, delis, sandwich shops, uh, cafeterias and you know, schools and so on. Thermal printers start from a couple hundred pounds upwards. Uh, depending on your requirements, you can either print direct thermal or thermal transfer. Direct thermal is ideal for those needing labels that just need to last a short amount of time. So there's no ribbon involved. There's a coating already on the label, so it's very simple, very low cost. The heat on the print head reacts with the coating and your print appears, so the label will last for the life of the product. This is normally used in the likes of shipping labels or food labels, where there is a, maybe a sell-by date of a few days, a few weeks, a few months. So this is not the kind of direct thermal wouldn't be used for long-term label printing, but for food, you know, food ingredient labels and so on, it tends to fit the bill. We have a range of Godex thermal printers which really work for this problem. Um, they come with full software, so Go Label software, allowing you to create basic ingredient labels, but also get to the point where you maybe want to link it to a database. Um, it will pre-highlight allergens such as you know, egg, wheat, so on. Um, you can set a table full of keywords, so if they are shown in a label, they become bold. Um, there's no additional cost for this and no limit on licensing either, so you can put it on multiple PCs. Um, thermal labels that say very quick, very clean, and have a very small footprint. So this being an example, this is the Godex RT730, which is actually a higher end thermal printer. Um, this will print up to four inches wide. It will store labels. You can have a keypad linked to the side, so users can just pick a number or scan a barcode and their labels will come out. You can pre-determine best before dates, so there's no confusion there, and pre-configure labels, so the end user doesn't really have the ability to affect the labels, so that you're, you can ensure your labels are printed correctly. Thermal is the most common sort of form of printing ingredients labels in farm shops, cafes, and so on. You'll probably see um, the likes of deli counters in supermarkets, they have scales, um, or maybe you purchase a product they'll produce a thermal sticky label and just stick it onto the bag uh, ready for you to take to the till. Thermal printing is a great place to start uh, for ingredients and allergen labels. So what if you need your label to be, be a bit jazzier? Maybe it's to keep in line with the product that's going on so perhaps it's a wraparound label that is, has the branding of the product but also the ingredients label integrated into it. Um, lots of Drinks bottles, for example, have this. So, um, a product like the Affinia L502. This is a full color inkjet printer, edge to edge printing, aimed at low to medium volumes. So you can print a single label on this, but you can also queue it up to do a few hundred, a few thousand, um, maybe add a rewinder in front of it and away it goes. This is USB or network connect. But again, it's very simple to use. Um, pre die cut labels will run through this. They do need to be inkjet printable, but we can help you out there. The key thing with this printer is that you'll get quality, you'll have full color, so you can continue the, the brand theme throughout the whole of your product through your label, but also ensure that your ingredients labels conform. Um, you're getting all the information out that you need to, but it can look how you want it to look. So costs. Um, for those with a lower budget, thermal is great. Let's say, starting from 200 pounds, this model, the RT730, I think is more like five or six hundred pounds, but this is a high-end thermal printer. Um, this will still do you. Great for single labels here, here and there, but if you really wanted to push it, you know, you could do hundreds of labels per day on a, on a system like this. The Affinia L502, you're looking at over a couple of thousand pounds for this, but this is full color professional label printing. 
We have many systems going in between this range, up above and below, industrial systems, if you need to do thousands of labels a day. These are a couple of models that have become very popular to, you know, to, for this problem. Um, but what I would recommend is talk to the team at HD Labels, what we can do is guide you, we'll ask you a problem, we'll ask you the right questions to ensure that you get the right printer for you. If you don't need to spend two or three thousand pounds on a printer, you don't need to spend two or three thousand pounds on a printer. But what you don't want to do is buy the wrong printer for you. If you need durability, you need speed, you need low cost per print, or you need full colour, you need it to look in keeping with your brand, then tell us what you need. We can provide samples, demonstrations, cost the product, cost of ownership and so on, and we'll be able to help you. For more information on Natasha's Law and how we can help you conform, um, please go to hdlabels.co.uk or feel free to get in touch with the team on 01264 335 118 and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.